Now, people, the body of a man was found hanging by a belt from a tree in Cherry Gardens, St. Andrew, this morning. The body is in an advanced state of decomposition. The discovery was made at a gully which runs along Upper Melwood Avenue in the area. The police are investigating. The St. James police have launched an investigation into a gun attack on Tuesday, which left one man dead and two others injured in flankers. Dead is 20 year old laborer Jason Lawrence, otherwise called Dirty, of West Side in flankers. It is reported that about 8.20 a.m., Lawrence and two other men were in a section of Churchill in the community when upon reaching the vicinity of a community center, they were shot by unknown assailants. They were assisted to hospital where Lawrence was pronounced dead while the two other men admitted. No motive has been established for the attack. The police are investigating. But look, here yeah, over a bush. No one to a bus. Just because them can't wait. People want to take time on the road. Is what kind of, is that, is that a weight name there over there, sir? Is a Voxy? See people them over there, you see them? Mm -hmm. This is crazy. Push part right there, sir. Poor, poor, poor spring. Yeah, just like that. People, this accident took place in Coral Spring, Trelawney. I'm not sure if anyone was hurt because I didn't get much information. I only got the video, but I'm just showing you guys what is taking place in your country. People, be careful upon the road. Because you see accident and a one normal thing. Accident will save life. Accident take life and mash up people. Cripple up people. Everybody drive fast or hard in you know, about you have to know when and where. So just take a time on the road and be caution at all times. You understand me I say? I'm going to leave you with this video from the Commissioner of Police. He is giving you an update on what is taking place in the crime sector. In recent weeks, our security forces have been relentless in our pursuit of the criminal elements responsible for the incidents of violence in a few of our communities. Through a coordinated effort between the police and the military, we have made significant strides in dismantling the operations of these gangs. Last month, we arrested and charged a number of gang leaders across several divisions, including St. James, Westmoreland, Hanover, and Trelawney, where we successfully took in custody a number of persons who had been terrorizing their communities. These arrests have dealt a major blow to the leadership and infrastructure of criminal organizations. By removing these individuals from the streets, we have disrupted their ability to orchestrate and carry out acts of violence. Additionally, our teams have seized a substantial cache of firearms and ammunition, and denying the gangs the tools they use to spread fear and destruction. Our efforts have not been limited to just higher level targets. We have also conducted targeted operations across all affected divisions apprehending other key members of these criminal networks. The successes are a testament to the commitment and the professionalism of our security forces. We will not rest until we have dismantled these criminal enterprises and restore a sense of safety and security to the communities that they terrorize. The Jamaica Constabulary Force continues to demonstrate its commitment to bringing justice to the communities affected by violent crime. On the morning of August 21st, 2024, significant progress was made in the ongoing investigation following the tragic shooting on the Cherry Tree Lane in Clarendon. The investigation, led by the highly skilled team at the Era 3 Major Investigation Task Force, culminated in the apprehension and charging of two individuals 
who are believed to be the central figures in the incident. The swift action taken by the police following the Cherry Lane incident underscores the JCF's dedication to protecting the public and ensuring that those responsible for violence are held accountable. Leighton White, otherwise known as Bans, a 33-year-old man from Havana Heights, and Dushane Smalling, also known as Snowman, a 28-year-old from North Street, Maple and Clarendon, have been charged with eight counts of wounding with intent and one count of shooting with intent and multiple breaches of the Firearms Act. These charges brought against the suspects reflect the thorough and meticulous work conducted by the investigating team. Both accused individuals are scheduled to appear before the parish court where they will face the full weight of the law for their alleged involvement in these heinous crimes. This development represents a significant stride in the JCF's effort to restore peace and security to the affected communities in Clarendon and to send a clear message that criminal activities will not go unpunished. The successful apprehension and charging of these suspects not only brings a sense of closure to the families affected by the tragedy, but also reinforces JCF's resolve to combat crime and maintain law and order across Jamaica. In a significant victory against illicit drug trade, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Firearms and Narcotics Investigation Division, EFNID, executed a major operation earlier this month, leading to the largest cocaine seizure in Jamaica's history. The raid resulted in the arrest of five male suspects, all Jamaican nationals, and the confiscation of over 5,500 pounds of cocaine with an estimated street value of over 75.8 million US dollars. The suspects charged with possession, dealing, and trafficking of cocaine remain in custody as the investigation continues. This historic seizure highlights the JCF's relentless efforts to combat the illegal firearms and drug trade, which poses a significant threat to national security. The JCF and its partners remain steadfast in our commitment to restoring peace and order in the affected communities. We understand the deep concerns and anxiety that the public has been experiencing, and we want to assure you that your safety and well-being are our top priorities. In our pursuit of dismantling these criminal networks, it is important to remember that our communities should not be held hostage by fear. The Jamaican spirit is one of resi resilience, vibrancy, and community. It is unacceptable that law-abiding citizens feel compelled to withdraw from these social activities that define our culture and bring us together. Our communities deserve to be safe spaces where people can live freely, enjoy their lives, and embrace their heritage without fear. We cannot allow a small group of criminals to dictate how we live our lives. It is not the citizens who should be locking themselves away. It is the criminals who should be denied their freedom of movement and the privileges they have abused. We are committed to restoring the peace and security that every Jamaican deserves. Together, we will win this battle, not just through force, but by winning the hearts and minds of the people. The safety and well-being of our communities are our top priorities, and we will stop at nothing to reclaim our streets and restore our way of life. Despite the progress we have made in arresting key gang leaders and disrupting their operations, we know that the work is not over. These criminal networks have deep roots and a willingness to adapt and evolve in the face of adversity. But we are equally determined and resolute in our efforts to dismantle them no matter how long it takes. Our teams are working around the clock, gathering intelligence, conducting targeted raids, and pursuing every available lead. We will not relent in our pursuit of the remaining targets identified in our workbook. These individuals will be pursued and brought to justice as we continue to chip away at the foundation of these gangs. Our partnership with the military has been instrumental in amplifying our capabilities and resources. Together, we are employing a multi-pronged approach that combines intelligence-driven operations community engagement, and a relentless pursuit of those responsible for violence. Rest assured, the security forces will not rest until we have restored a sense of normalcy and security in our communities. We are in this for the long haul, 
and we will not back down in the face of adversity. Your safety and well-being are our driving force and we will stop at nothing to achieve our goal of a safer, more peaceful Jamaica. Jamaica.